Greetings and thank you for journeying with me through this week. It's been a delight to share a few thoughts and insights as we contemplate this Christmas season of the fact that God, Almighty God, became a man. I want to just remind us that the whole purpose of God becoming a man was the simple reason and yet so important reason for our salvation. The Apostle Paul wrote in 1 Timothy 1 and verse 15, This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Jesus came into this world to save sinners. All of us, each one of us, He came to save us. He came to rescue us, to bring us out of what sin had done to each one of us. He came to save us, brings us out of sin and all of the consequences of sin. God never intended for sin to enter the human race and enter this world and do what it did. He never intended for sickness and disease and Satan and and all the other things that have come into this world because of sin. That was not part of God's design. But man was plunged into it because of Adam's disobedience. And God, in the person of Christ, came to save us, to rescue us, to bring us out of that. Now, think about this. Do you think he was successful in doing that? Of course. He succeeded in being our Savior. He fully accomplished the purpose for which He came. He said, it is finished. Everything needed to be done to bring us out of all of the ravages of sin. Every single ounce of the pain, the suffering, and the consequence of sin. To bring us out completely, everything needed was finished, was done, was provided for through Jesus Christ. And the Bible says all we need to do is to believe in the person of Christ, to bring our lives and submit it to Him and embrace Him as our Lord, as our Savior, and say, Jesus, I believe in You. I receive You into my life. And then He becomes our Savior. He saves us from sin and all of its consequences. Now, yes, we understand it's a journey we are making. Yes, we understand that the culmination of all of this wills is still out in the future for us to experience it, for us to experience the redemption of the purchased possession. That is out in the future, but the journey begins the moment we believe in Christ. And more and more we experience the joy of salvation, we experience the working of salvation in our lives as we conquer, experience victory over sin and Satan and everything that came with it in this life and in the life to come. Let's worship Jesus. He is our Savior. Everything has been taken care of completely. He's the one who saves us entirely, completely from all of sin. And it begins now as we believe in Him as our Lord and our Savior. Let's worship Him for that. Jesus, we worship You that you came into this world to save us, and you are our Savior. You have saved us from our sins. That sin and Satan and death and all those things that Adam plunged us because in, plunged us under, Lord, you have saved us from. And we choose to walk in your salvation, to enjoy more and more of your salvation in our lives. And then help us to bring the message of salvation to the many around us who don't know it, who've never heard it. Help us to bring the message of salvation to them so that they too can taste and begin to enjoy your glorious, wonderful salvation. We thank you and we worship you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.